All you skeptics out there, all you that's criticizing full gospel holy temper, I give you invitation. I, I give you an opportunity to come sit on the first seat and see what we're doing. If you notice, you haven't heard us soliciting on the radio, not that I'm a guest pregnant asking for an offering, but so far God's meeting the need and we haven't had to do it. Said so that preacher taking all of the money. Well, tell me how in the world are we doing as much as we do it if I'm taking all the money and putting it in my pocket? This building we in appraised for over two million dollars and we paid for it in two and a half years. Now tell me how did I do that and put all the money in my pocket? We got churches in other cities and most of them, I think just about all of them are paid for but one and we could pay for it if we wanted to. The Bible said ye shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free. You believe it's shame on it. I'll tell you, we preaching the gospel, we're not compromising. And if you want to see a group of people that look like saints of God, come to full gospel holy temple. Over here, the men look like men and the women look like women. Oh yes, every once in a while we get a homosexual coming here. But as I said last Sunday, praise God, if he'll stay here and listen to the word of God, we'll wash his brains and he won't be a homosexual any longer. You believe it's shame, man. Yes, prostitutes are getting delivered over here. The con man is getting delivered over here. The liar is getting delivered over here. We're doing our work for God. I know some of you don't understand. I can't understand what he doing, how he do it. Maybe you never seen a true man of God. Maybe you never seen a true work of God. Brother, the plan is in the book. It was there when I was born. You believe it's shame on All we doing is preaching the word and living by it. Jesus mentioned not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed out of the mouth of God. I believe if you're going to preach something, you should live by it. I believe you should enforce it. You believe it's shame, man. We running around here, pregnant men, people running to me. We need a revival. Our country need a revival. Huh? You know what the recipe for a revival is? To preach the word of God in this fullness. You believe it's same man? Pray God we need an old-fashioned knee-bone prayer meeting where the people can get right with God. We need a conviction. You believe it's same man? And men and women can't have a conviction unless the word is being preached until people that told our sin till they come on conviction and realize the need to be saved. We need an old-fashioned repentance. You believe it's same man? We need an old-fashioned heart searching. You need to set your heart. Get your heart right. You believe it's shame, man, and then we can have revival in this country. You believe what I said, say, man. Hallelujah. This country's in bad shape. Every known sin has been committed on our streets. And then you want to fight a man that's standing up preaching the gospel, doing something for God. I tell you, pregnant, I can't vandalize this whole country, but I'm going to do everything I can. I'm going to help every little boy, every little girl I can to get a good education and learn the ways of God. You believe it's shame, man? No, I'm not in it for money. I've never put a price on my ministry. And I'm not saying this boasting, but I'm trying to challenge you skeptics out there. But I'm doing better than a lot of you. No, I don't have a salary. I wouldn't preach for a salary. I wouldn't be tied down a bunch of deadhead deacons, tobacco chewing, hole chasing, bill guzzling deacons. You believe it's shame, man? 
I promised God if he'd give me the strength, I'd go into the vineyard and work, and that's what I'm doing. Sometimes I run a revival and I don't get much, but I tell you one thing, God meet my needs, and I'm doing lots better than a lot of you old preachers out there that's compromising. Pray God to get some people to pay tithe. I don't care whether you pay tithes or not, I'm going to tell you the truth. You believe it, Shema? You can lay a thousand dollars on the table, it's still a wholeness of hell. Either you get right or you're going to hell. You believe it, Shema? Hallelujah. I'm like Daniel. I purpose in my heart, I wouldn't defile myself with the king's meat. You believe it, Shema? Daniel was way down in Babylon, but he said, I'm going to live holy regards to where I go. I refuse to defile myself. You believe it, Shema? Some of you are talking about, let's get together, let's get together. We ain't going to never get together till we line up with the word of God. You believe it, Shema? Hallelujah. Bible said ye should know the truth. It's mighty funny that a football player can get all the money he want. Nothing is said about it. Amen. Pray God the pimp can bring a drive a brand new Cadillac. Nothing is said about it. But you let a preacher get a new car. Then you want to criticize him. Well, I thank God, God's putting his preachers in new automobiles. You believe it, say amen. And there ain't nothing you can do about it. Hallelujah. Pray God, our schools is putting out everything but missionaries and men of God. They're putting out boy scout, football player, golf player, and every other ungodly thing. But we need some men of God. We need some God fearing people. You believe it, shame man. Have a country of God in such a bad shape, we can't even find a good man to put in office. They want to pick him to pieces because everybody's in sin and they feel like the rest is doing what they doing. You believe it, shame man. But I want you to know God still got some men around here. God still got some women around here. Woo! How many like what I'm preaching? It's the truth. Jesus said, ye shall know the truth. Truth what's going to set men's and women's free. You believe it, shame man. All this ear ticking gospel back scratching. Hallelujah. Brother, we need some heart searching. The man need to know his sin. He need to be preached under conviction till the tears begin to roll down his face until he realize he's dangling over burning hell. I mean, it should be preached to him. Hell hot. He turned it along. He should be preached made to know his sin that he need to do something today. You believe it? Say man. Hallelujah. When men's and women's come kind of conviction, then we'll have some good conversion, regeneration. You believe it, say man. Dried eyed repentance ain't worth a dime. How many believe what I'm saying? Pray God coming down making a conviction ain't worth a dime except your heart been broken. How many believe what I'm talking about? You must be made known your sin. You got to be revealed if you don't quit, you'll die and go to hell. How many believe what I'm saying tonight? Brother, we're living in a day and time. People are proud of faith, proud of race, and proud of grace. No proudness of being a child of God. How many believe what I'm saying? You got to get rid of your pride. You got to come out of your sin and leave them along. You believe it, say, man. Brother, if you want to be something great, repent of your sin. Line up with the program of God. Let God put his anointing upon you. You believe it, say, man. Why will it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose? his soul. Get all your knowledge you want, but if you don't have Christ, you don't have nothing. Get all the money you can get, but if you don't have Christ, you don't have nothing. I don't care how big a business you got, but if Christ is not the Lord of you, pray God, then you ain't nothing. You believe it, say man. Yes, sir. We can have revival when the truth go forth. When men's hearts is broken, 
Hallelujah. Then we can have a good old-fashioned repentance. It takes that for revival. The Bible said judgment must begin at the house of God. How in the world we expect for it to be revival out there in the streets until we get revival in the church? We got too many con Christians. You believe it's shame, man. They're concerned about themselves and nobody else. Brother, your heart's got to be broken. God didn't just save you to sit on your seat and warm a bench. You believe it's shame, man. God made an intercessor out of you, but you need to get on your knees. You need to cry. As I said on last night, but I don't want to con cry. I'm I want a spiritual minded choir. I want a choir that know how to praise God. I want a deacon bow that's God fearing. You believe it's shame, man. How many believe what I'm saying here? But I want some elders that got a backbone that are stand up and seek God and preach the gospel of deliverance. You believe it's shame, man. I want some Sunday school teachers that are tarry before God. Not only just study a lesson on Saturday night, but will travail before God. Ask God to anoint me to teach this lesson you believe it's shame man you believe it's shame man anything uncircumcised and filthy shouldn't stand before the presence of God how many believe what I'm saying some of you sitting here you proud of the church you belong to Pray God, you ain't got no business being proud of full gospel unless you live holy. You believe it, say amen. How many believe what I'm saying? Pray amen. Pray God, the full gospel stands for Christ. It stands for holiness. And if you practice in holiness and live in holy, then you got a right to stand up and stick your chest out because this is what full gospel stands for. Not just for a name. You believe it, say amen. No, we're not trying to make a name for ourselves. I'm not doing things to be seen a means. I'm not doing things to be bragged on among men. I realize I want God to use me. I got to be meek. I got to be humble. I'm just doing a work from God. I'm just a little old servant working on the building. You believe it's shame I have. I'm just a little servant of God trying to do everything I can. Trying to make full proof of a ministry. You believe it's shame I have. If you're not doing the same, you may not be a preacher. You may never be called but God say you can be a witness. You believe it's shame, man. Hallelujah. I'm going to be what I'm saying. Brother, the spiritual man is stirred. The scripture said the spiritual man is mad. I'm going to be what I'm saying today. Brother, it's time to take a stand for the word of God. Hallelujah. Daniel said, I will not defile myself with the king's meat. I'm not going to defile myself to have favor with the king. So no, sir, you give us some pulse. Hallelujah. I don't want the king's drink. I don't want his old ungodly meat. So just give us some pulse. Give us some vegetables to eat. And just give me some water. And say, just try me for 10 days. Brother, that was faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brother Eunice was afraid. So look, man, if I don't feed you right, the king going to get me. So don't worry about the king. I'm serving a God that has the king in his hand. You believe it's shame on. So just give me some vegetables. Just give me some water. I don't want that wine. But we're living in a day and time that the people are conform to the world. Pastor Paul declared, pray God Romans 12 and 2 don't be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Never forget that Saturday night when I came down to the altar I was made to see my ungodly condition. My heart was broken. I cried out to God for forgiveness and I meant it from the depths of my heart God stretched forth his hand he delivered me he rescued me. He Wash my brain. He washed my heart. He set me free. You believe it's shame on. Hallelujah. That day he transformed me. Hallelujah. I'm going to believe what I'm saying. When we find the day that the church is conforming to the world. Well, amen. Everything the world come out which you see in the church. How many believe what I'm saying? Pray amen. The church was doing all right with Ivy Leagues till the Afro come out. Huh? What was that other haircut they had? But it was short. Huh? Crew cut. But when the Afros come out, then we've seen it come in the church. Don't get mad at me. 
Hallelujah. God's got a standard uh, that don't change. You believe it? Say amen. Some of you were transformed because you didn't know any better. But I want you to know you better transform back to holiness. You believe it? Say amen. I'm going to believe what I'm saying. It's a child, it ain't what you got on, it's what's in your heart. Huh? But Pastor Paul said, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto the Lord. For you got to be presented to the Lord. And God don't have to accept you unless I want to. You believe it? Say amen. Hallelujah. God's real. Stand on your feet. Lift your hand to God. I didn't plan on going that way. I had another message. When God get on you, I think one just as good as the other. Huh? I'm going to believe what I'm saying. I hope you all understand me. I'm not boasting. But I think the devil ought to know. He think he got the best package. But I just want him to know God's got the best package. You believe it? Say amen. How many believe what I'm saying? Brother, if you want some genuine joy, some genuine love, if you want some genuine peace, you got to come get in touch with God. I tell you, Jesus is giving out blessing. You believe it? Say amen. I think we ought to be just as hungry as it was in the days of Jesus. Brother, the news went out. He's giving sight to the blind. He's feeding the hungry. He, causing the lame to walk and the Bible said a multitude followed him can you imagine them down in that main line church having it about half full they kicked Jesus out out by the seaside he had to get in the ship because they were so great but in the church wasn't nobody down there Holly. you believe it shame man but it's been proved in dollars that you can preach the truth and still have a crowd you believe it shame man how many believe what I'm saying break it I'm not mad at nobody but I learned a long time ago if you want God's blessing to be upon you you gotta stay with the book you believe it's shame man how many believe what I'm saying